Hey guys, welcome back to another comic book discussion. We're actually going to be talking about Fizz today because he released a video yesterday and I did do a video of my final thoughts to Fizz, but after seeing the video he released, I decided to resort those thoughts to kind of answer what could be going on. Now, I'm not going to really tackle on any of the depression stuff or talking about life stuff that he's been struggling with because I'm not really, you know, qualified to really speak as a therapist or anything of that sorts. I can't really give you the answer to this or that. I, I can't because, you know, I'm just a person from the internet that is just basically reaching out to basically let you know, okay, here are my thoughts. That's it. Do I think you need to go to therapy? That would be a good idea. It could definitely help you get your thoughts th sorted out. It it can definitely help is what I'm trying to say. What you probably don't want to do is get into a mental institution of sorts. That's, that's a bit of a juggle depending on which state you live in and the, the the laws and such there's there's a lot there that I'd rather not go into because that's another can of worms of details in itself so I'm not going to address any of those things biz because I'm not qualified to talk about it okay okay I'm just going to talk about goofanoid your stories and the job ideas of what you could try and do that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to try and tell you to do. Or at least give you advice about. I'm not going to, you know, twist your arm and say, you got to do this. Because you're your own person. You go do whatever you want. If you want to go make Goofanoid, go ahead. But expect there not to be automatic, you know, results from that. Because... You've already lost a lot of customers already. You've already lost some respect from people. You've already lost, you know, any decency, like, you know, decency from people. You're, you're pretty much at the end of the barrel, okay? You're scraping by at this point. So let's talk about Goofanoid first. Because I know that's your dream comic. That's your dream character. That's everything you've worked for. But the effort isn't there. The passion isn't there. You make me think of Amy's Baking Company from Kitchen Nightmares. If you've never watched that episode before, go check it out. Amy says she's a great baker, but really she's not. She's not a good chef. And even the baked goods she had were fake. She actually bought those baked goods off of a different store so really it's nothing to write home about she couldn't like bake a pizza to save her life and you can't write a script to save yours and it's a very very stressful process i try to rewrite your character's story to be appealing but I couldn't because there were a lot of factors involved in writing that story I had to think about the setting I had to think about the characters I had to think about how, what what are the consequences in this you know scene what are the possibilities of you know action for this scene there's a lot of things at play especially when you add jokes into the mix you gotta really be careful with what you're writing and I'm not, it's not just Goofanoid, it's the rest of your characters too. There's always that weird factor. Like, we ask you, hey, like, tell us about Tiger Man. And you're like, well, Tiger Man is my little kid character that can turn into a were tiger. And, you know, he fights these, you know, lesbian morph characters who do this. And he also kills one of them. Or, I guess, rips out their body parts. And do you, do you see a lot of like, you know, comic books really centered around that? Like, do you see people making that a big point of their comic? Do you 
see you know all these comic writers at comic con panels being like yeah i like this character pulled out this other character's dick like no you don't you don't hear people talking about that because that's not the point of the character the point of the character is having a goal of theirs achieved like example batman he wants to you know take on the crime in Gotham and make it a better place because he wants to be the hero that he needed when he was eight years old. That's his goal. It's like, it's that simple with tiger man. Not really much of a goal other than, than to get away from his moms, like anything else. Oh, no, nothing, nothing, just a lot of abuse. And that is a huge factor in your stories. That is, kind of lingering in almost every single character i would say like 90 percent of your characters there's some kind of form of mental abuse physical abuse emotional abuse drug abuse like there's all there's all those things going on in your comic and it feels more like a parody of an adult swim cartoon than it does a comic book like go ahead and make your own adult comic go ahead sure go for it But you got to put in the effort, the energy, expect that there's not going to be a lot of people lining up for that specific project due to the, like, you know, elements of those characters. A lot of the creators I've seen who do this kind of thing tend to be the writers and artists themselves. So you'd probably benefit better if you learned how to draw and make the comic yourself. Because, again... There's a lot of people who do have limitations and morals of what they will and will not draw. And you're going to go through a lot of those artists because, you know, the price differences, the, you know, different morals. You you get what I'm saying? It's going to be difficult to sell a comic with those elements involved into the comic. So as for what you can do for Goofanoid. So we've talked about this. We've talked about it last year. We talked about it before that. And what I can really say about Goofanoid is the only way you can save him is by listening. Like, I I, I don't want to use my kindergarten voice, Fizz. You're making me pull out my kindergarten teacher voice. Nobody wants to hear that at all. And I'm sick, so it's a little difficult to pull that off. Now, Fizz, people do not like clowns. But you can still make it work if you retool, remake Goofanoid. You're going to have to put away some of the elements of your comic because some of it doesn't make some, you know, it doesn't make any damn sense. It ju- it just doesn't. What ma- what doesn't make sense? Oh, why is he all- like, why does he, why is he schizophrenic? Why? What's important to that? Oh, wait, wait, the imaginary friends. Why is that important? Oh, right, because he's inspired by the creeper. But you can still be inspired by the creeper and not have someone with a mental, like, you know, mental illness going around being a superhero because that screams more of a crazed lunatic comic. Now, if this was a crazed lunatic comic... And not a super serious comic like you're telling me it is. Where, you know, we focus on these other characters trying to capture this crazy clown guy who thinks he's a superhero. Then sure, I'm sure some people would read that. Some people would probably find it very interesting of this twisted, horrific story. But you're really wanting to make this work into a superhero comic. And then you go ahead and mention that you don't really like traditional superhero stuff. You want to do twists and turns. But Fizz, here is the problem. You don't know the basics to even make a change in that. You don't know the basics, the rules, the any of that for story writing, character development, comic books in general. You don't know the base- basics or rules and know how to break them in the correct ways because in order to for like you know 
break it in a good way. You have to know how to do it in a correct manner. If you do it nilly willy, it's not going to work out too well for you. I'm sorry to say it's not going to work out too well. And yes, it is a game of experimenting with, you know, different storytelling methods, different character development moments. It, it takes a lot of effort and understanding of your character and of course the understanding of how you're going to translate that to your artist and it's it's just a lot of factors here fizz you you're basically you're trying your best to make this work but it's it's barely you barely got that frame of the boat built fizz you're barely going to be able to get it into the water you're barely going to be able to turn that thing in the water you're going to sink before you even step one foot into the ocean fizz you're you're basically screwing yourself over in this case and that's sad because again we've told you plenty of times what was wrong goofanoid's a clown yes it can still work to some extent if you actually put the effort and research into it oh but creeper and these other characters and the insanity needs to be there you're making it very difficult to do. Like, the only reason why I'm saying a mentally ill clown doesn't work is because it's basically Joker, but a good guy. But you're also putting in these, like, other factors of imaginary friends, which, what's the benefit of those? Oh, they're just two hallucinations? They're to make little references to commercials nobody knows about? Like, that Orangina co commercial? Like... Let me tell you, Fizz, nobody knows what that is. So you're basically giving your audience a empty joke that nobody in the room is going to understand. And this is what I've noticed a lot in the stream. A lot of people were confused until we played that stupid commercial. Like, a lot of people were like, what? What's with this? And I'm sure some who were too stunned to speak were just like, where did this come from? Why is it in the comic? Was it necessary? A lot of these details that you put in don't make any sense. Why is it in there? Right, because Goofanoid's insane, yes. So how about lose the imaginary friends? Lose the mental illness because you don't know how to write this. You don't even know how to write a normal character, let alone a how to represent a mental illness in a character. You can't do that, Fizz. You don't know how it works, okay? You do not know how it works. You gotta study these things. It's why a lot of people take years to write some of their books. Years. Because they want to make sure they get some of the facts right before they release a product. Because if they release the product, they're probably going to get an army of people who will say, what the fuck did you do? That's not how you, that's not how you do this. I'm just telling you this because this is important. I've told you this dozens of times. You can only get a good product if you do your research and if you write all this down. Like, go to, go to a dollar store, buy a notebook, and start writing this all down. That way you feel more motivated to actually work on it. Or better yet, like, make a goal of writing one character information sheet a week. I don't know how you do it, but you, as long as you're writing, you're writing. But the thing is, you also have to put into, like, okay, you have to get this piece of of information that I will bash you in the head again with you have to stop with these weird details that you put into the characters like they're so fucking random like in your in your previous video I, I mean your recent video I just watched you mentioned this like Betty character going around killing superheroines and she has a sidekick, a boy with an STD. What, what, what's the fucking point of bringing that up? Oh yeah, and incest. Like, Fizz, nobody goes into that territory because nobody does well in that territory. You're gonna, 
you're really screwing yourself over and almost becoming Chris Chan at this point. This is stuff you see from, like, low cows and such. This is not fun. This is not okay. And I know, oh, but there's this character or that character in comics. Just because they're there in comics doesn't mean you can immediately use that idea. Like, because, let's be real, a lot of us actually don't know how to write some of these things until we actually do research. And Fizz, you clearly don't do your research. Like last year, you said, okay, I'm going to go work on the comic. And then you come back with one script and a whole year, Fizz, a whole year. And you were mentioning you were struggling with this year, like this past year, and how difficult it was. And I can understand that to some degree. But it's also like, well, I'm not going to help you change it. Trey is not going to help you change it. Animain is not going to help you change it. Like, nobody can do anything for you until you do something for yourself. Like, you can't just blame others for not getting where you want to be. Because this isn't kindergarten, Fizz. This isn't kindergarten. You may be at the level of writing at that level, but this isn't kindergarten, okay? Okay. I, that sounds mean, I know, but a lot of the elements in your writing just seem so random. And usually you don't see this unless it's a very new writer. And Fizz, if you were practicing your writing or studying your writing or anything of the sorts, and I get it, it's very difficult to jump into. It's hard to try and find a way to motivate yourself to write. I get it. I struggled with that a lot throughout this year. Like, I've managed to complete two scripts. Very long scripts. It's more of a fun amusement kind of thing. Like, I'm trying to practice my dialogue with some elements of battles going on. And those were, like, both 100 pages long. So, like, 200 pages. But what I'm getting at, Fizz is that you should focus on doing the simpler stuff first before you jump ahead to the difficult stuff. So my recommendation for story writing or script writing is to do a, start with like fewer pages first. Start with two pages, then get to three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Like, if you do that, and if you just drew your own comics, like, it doesn't need to be super perfect. It just needs to relay what you're trying to do for the storytelling and lay out the panels so you can see where the dialogue would go where or what would be, like, what would the actions be. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be there to give you an idea of what to give to the artist. And so you can understand from an artist's point of view of how difficult that would be. <sighs> I gotta take a sippy sip because I've almost been talking for 20 minutes straight. Anyways. The last thing I want to bring up to you, Fizz, is how, oh yeah, how you can better yourself. Now, there's other ways of doing this. And you've mentioned not being able to find a job. And one of your things that you looked for in a job was working on another comic, which Fizz, you don't have that experience you shouldn't try and reach out to other people to help them with their books. Because let me be real, not a lot of them is going to take what you have and 
using it if you get what i mean like your story writing is terrible and i say that kindly because you know after reading that script there's a list of things i could have said but i won't but if you want to improve challenge yourself do something for yourself as for the job check out what was said in the comments of the stream there's a lot of information that could really help you in this i mean even remote jobs could work for you but i wouldn't recommend doing something face-to-face -face, people social wise for you because i don't think you're that kind of person who's a socializing type of person like i would find a basic job a very basic job like cleaning like maybe go ahead and go t do housekeeping housekeeping janitor work dishwashing those jobs are pretty basic straight to the point and you get them and they're pretty much looking out for tons of cleaning people all the time is it the best job no but does that mean every job you have in your life needs to be perfect and non-hard and di not difficult at all? Well, you gotta get the money somehow, Fizz. You gotta get it somehow. Again, you could also do something like, if you want to find friends, go to like your community center or something. Look for a club. Like... Go to the library, you know, to do your research and such. Exercise even, like, there's some classes in, you know, some places that, you know, are open for newcomers. Um, I think I'm giving you a basic idea of what to do. And I'm not gonna keep holding your hand to guide you in the right way, because... I think you can do this yourself. Like, you know, figure out what you're going to do. I can't guarantee I'll let you, like, back onto my stream for another script reading. Because, again, I want to see some improvement. I want to see some progress more so than reading another script, okay? You gotta do stuff for yourself. You gotta learn how to live a little. And that involves usually finding a job, finding something that makes you feel something. I can't say any more than that because I'm just like... There's already so much I've already said. But I hope this video helped you. I'm not too thrilled with the idea of having you come back and you haven't made progress at all. If you don't have more than 10 things to show us. No, that sounds too much. I would say maybe six things to show us. Five? I, I, I don't know. If you're not like doing something for yourself... Or trying to find something that works for you. There needs to be something there to kind of motivate you to try harder. I'm sure you can do, you know, better scripts, better ideas, better things. But like I said, you got to lose the weird shit you always put in. Like the random, like, oh, yeah, the kid with the STD. Like nobody, nobody wants to know that. This in the no, nobody wants to know that. And like a lot of the stories with abuse, maybe tone it down a lot. Like it's okay for maybe one story, but the whole thing, it just kind of ruins the flavor. And you just like, it's like adding one ingredient to your cake and that's all you can taste throughout the cake. So really you're screwing yourself over if you put too much of that into your character stories 
other than that, um, that's all I can give. I can't guarantee much of anything because I'm not the one at the wheel here. You're the one at your own wheel. I'm the... I'm driving my own vehicle. You're driving your own vehicle. I'm not going to climb out of my car to help you turn that corner, Fizz. Nobody's going to be doing that. We're all in this highway of life. And wait. That made me think of something. <laughs> okay. We're all in this, like, road of life. And you don't see people jumping into other people's vehicles and turning the wheel for them. You, you have to do that shit yourself. I really hope you take what I said into consideration. And if you ever, ever need anyone to listen to more of your ideas, I highly recommend you question. Oh. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to really say for say about this. Fizz, again, focus on yourself, focus on your comic, but the, for, before you even think about going back to writing, since you say you don't really like it that much, reconsider that maybe the superhero genre isn't for you. You don't seem to show any passion behind it, and you just seem to throw in a lot of random random ideas so maybe look into other genres and focus on that it's not like a guarantee that you'll be a pro with them but look into researching other genres doing other books just something that doesn't seem to be the same thing as before but because i think with what you've been doing what you've been trying to do you've just been lining up the Okay, you've been lining up your ideas of what to do into, like, being very similar to one another. So please, please, for the love of banana bread, please, just try and focus on discovering what you actually enjoy doing. Because if comic book writing isn't it, or writing in general isn't it, then don't do it. Don't do it, Fizz. Don't do it. Find a different passion. Even if that means making a shit ton of let's play game, like let's play videos on YouTube, go for it. That means making Goofanoid happen and it's only you drawing the comic, good for you. But if you're going to be asking people to buy your shit, well, you're going to have to work your way up there, okay? You're going to have to work for it. Just like everybody else. Anywho's guys. <laughs> that is it for this video. I have nothing more to say. I genuine, genuinely don't. And Fizz. If you're going to reach out for me to. Do another stream with you. You better have something more than just one script. In a drawing. Because I want to see progress. Everyone wants to see you. Succeed in your own way. But you've already lost plenty of people. They've lost interest. They don't care. And after what you said about writing, it's just, it's very questionable whether or not they'll actually come back and want to watch you succeed. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm done. <sighs> For those who are new here, ch you know, check out the rest of my channel. I dabble in a lot of discussions of webtoons, analog horror, and comic books. If you want to join the membership of my channel go ahead check out my coffee and that's it anyways stay safe stay cool and most importantly guys stay hydrated this is dazzling kate signing the hell out of here